There is a contest for just about everything. We've talked a lot on this show about beauty pageants and the raging debate over body size and what constitutes beauty, whether or not it's even a good idea to continue with these pageants. Well, I want to bring in some special guests that are joining me in studio today. It is time for the 30th annual Ms. Full Figured USA, and it's happening right in Newark on Sunday, April 28th. Please welcome our guest, guys. Welcome to Chasing News, Teresa Randolph. You are the founder of this whole thing. Welcome, great to see you. Great to see you too. Right? We are also joined by some beauty queens, Sheena Bailey and Takesha Simmons. Guys, welcome to Chasing News. Thank you. Yeah. Teresa, I'm gonna start with you. Okay. What gave you the idea? Well, back in 1989, I participated in a pageant and I wanted to make sure that full-figured women were seen. So lo and behold, I wanted to keep the model size has no barrier on beauty and I just wanted everything to be urban, upscale, pushback? all that. Because people talk about starving themselves, right? You hear this, uh, whether they're getting ready for a wedding, whether they're getting ready for a pageant, there's a, there's a drive to say, I gotta stop eating. No, actually, to be healthy and full figured is a plus. Not a must, but it's a plus. And I just say that embrace your curves and your size and, and love your life because like our motto is, size has no barrier on beauty. There you go. Sheena, what about you? We got you into the contest. First of all, congratulations. Thank you. Well, opposed to, to some people losing weight for pageants, I start eating more. <laughs> I was like, pageants coming, I gotta eat. <laughs> Favorite food? Oh, shrimp seafood. Good for you, good for you. <laughs> Takesha, Snickers. what about you? Well, I heard about it, and so I went to a couple of pageants, and someone said, why don't you give it a try? And so we had the first New Jersey pageant, and here I am. Congratulations. Thank you. So do you get pushback? Well, actually, no, because of social media. Social media has broadened the whole full-figured realm that's going on. And also, lo and behold, majority of the women are size 14 in America. And everybody's starting to embrace their curves. Even designers, Vera Wang, Issey Miyake, they're all coming up with these garments that can fit curvy women. Trina, any oh, pushback? Yeah, I have. Um, because they say you're not full figured. And I said, do you know any woman that's like size eight and above or basically 12 and above are considered full figured? I was performing at Jacob Javis Center and um, that's how the full figured community found me. And I auditioned in New York and that's how I got the opportunity to win. But they told me I was full figured. I didn't even know I was full figured. Keisha, what about you? Yes, um, there has been a little pushback, but like um, Ms. Teresa said, the media, social media has really promoted and embraced the full-figured woman. So a lot of people do say, oh, well, you're not full enough to be full-figured. You're not you're not big enough in certain areas really? to be full-figured. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. yes. All right, this is happening Sunday, yes. April 28th, Robert Treat Hotel yes. in the main ballroom yes. uh, in Newark. What time? 6 p.m. All right, how can people get information? Can they buy tickets, open the public? Yes, we're on Eventbrite. Feel free to go to Eventbrite or email us at MsFullFiguredUSA at gmail.com. Good luck, ladies. Thank you. Thank Great you. Great to meet you. Thanks.